Hello and welcome to EU Tweets of the Week. This week, the Dutch Foreign Minister resigns, Boris Johnson's credibility declines and Twitter is awash with bad Valentines. Dutch Foreign Minister Halbe Zelstra stepped down on Tuesday, just one day after admitting he lied about attending a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Zelstra claimed that at a 2006 meeting, Putin said he considered Belarus, Ukraine and the Baltic states a greater Russia. This lie became law, said Glenn Greenwald. The resignation means the Netherlands still has its values intact, according to Joseph Barry unlike you-know-who. Alice Stolmeyer thought it was good that some politicians still have the decency to resign over telling a half-truth. Looking at you, Putin, Erdogan and Trump. Joris Luyendijk saw it as proof that the UK needs another glorious revolution where the Dutch will come over to sort them out. And Wolfgang Blau said Zelstra's resignation sets the bar extremely high for Boris Johnson. And on Wednesday, Bojo gave a speech trying to convince Remainers and Brexiteers to come together to back Brexit. Good luck with that. That's like a Labrador with a chewed up slipper in its mouth telling people not to be upset about dogs destroying stuff. Johnson said that reversing Brexit would be a disastrous mistake. Well, it would be for him, according to Chris Smith. If Brexit doesn't happen, Johnson's political career will be over. He's hitched himself to a catastrophe, he said. As for Johnson's hope for a liberal Brexit, most liberals don't want Brexit and most Brexiteers aren't liberal, said Stephen Bush. Matt Turner said Johnson's speech was all foam and no beer and John Rain summed up the entire thing in one gif. Finally, Wednesday was Valentine's Day and of course every man and his dog wanted to get in on the action by shoehorning romance into even the most tedious marketing messaging. But first, the winners. I wanted some glamour like Marilyn or Doris, but my Valentine's Day was spent watching Boris, tweeted spoof account Martini Seltzemeyer, following up with Brexit is daft, but I found something dafter. Real Donald Trump wants to pull out of NAFTA. MEP Antonas Goya said there should be no borders for love and happiness. And as a chocolate lorry arrived outside the Berlimont, Tom Moylan commented that someone went all out this year. Digital rights group Edry said, Roses are red, violets are blue, you have a dating life, your data has too. And in the same vein, the UK Information Commissioner's Office also tweeted, We love GDPR because it gives individuals increased rights to access their data and ask people to tell of their GDPR romance. Now, I love the GDPR as much as anyone, but even I think that's a bit OTT. Others jumping on the bandwagon include the European Commission, the European Emergency Numbers Association, Commissioner Carlos Moedas, DG Environment, who get a special dispensation for their lovers in the airline, the European LPG Association, and so many, many more. But the most cringeworthy award goes to the British Department of Work and Pensions, who thought Valentine's Day was a great chance to draw attention to benefit fraud. This week, we are supported by Euroelectric. They've just had a rebrand, so check out their new look at euroelectric.org. That's it for this week, but join me again next week for more chuckles, cringes and comebacks in the Brussels bubble Twittersphere and send in your suggestions using the hashtag EUTweets.